Welcome to 18 Holes. I'm your host, PGA Golf Professional, Jimmy Hanlon. And I'm LPGA Tour player, Natalie Golden. Today we are in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Many people say it's the golf capital of the world. And we're at one of the coolest events of the year, Monday after the Masters, hosted by Darius Rucker. I'll be hobnobbing with all the celebrities and your tour guide through this great golf course. And I'm going to be playing barefoot on the Pete Dye course. All right, Nat, let's go do it. Star-spangled banner yet weave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave All right, as you guys know, most of the time I play 18 holes with Natalie on the show, but uh, now that we're here Monday after the Masters in the Pro-Am, I'm going to hand her off to you guys. Can you handle it? We, we can handle, handle it. it. Yeah. She beats me down every week, so now it's your turn. All right. Have yeah. fun. Let's go, Natalie. Yeah. Let's, Let's go win a tournament. Let's do it. The first tee at the Pete Dye course here at Barefoot Landing has bunkers up the left-hand side and up the right-hand side because Pete Dye's not a nice man. But if you happen to get it in the fairway, it's just a short iron to the green, and you may start your day with a birdie. I thought you guys were going to be funny and entertaining. This is your first <laughs> this start. This is a chance. Little, little, little gun shy in the beginning. Huh? We'll get loosened get up. <laughs> Hole number two, par four, huge dog leg to the right. So you have to be very careful off the tee. Maybe hit a rescue or a through it unless you want to play that power fade around the corner. It's only 350 yards though, so be careful with your tee shot. I love 18 holes and Natalie Goldberg so much. I'm stealing her clubs. All 18. Blue vanilla sunset. Hey, easy on my club. We're sharing a bag. My caddy missed club me. You weren't uh, skilled enough to hit my, my high and lofted wedge. Hole number three is a par three, about 165 yards. Scary off the tee because there's a little bit of carry. But the real problem here is the green. It's kind of square with a lot of places to tuck that pin in the corner. Hole number four is a short but tricky par four. Dog leg to the right, but be careful off the tee because there's trouble everywhere. It's not really a reachable hole, so just hit a long iron or rescue off the tee and put yourself in good position. Why'd you chip it? Because it's rough? I was uh, trying to get in the mind of a professional. Because I was trying to chip in. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hamlin, and I'm here to discuss the fifth hole for you. It's a par five, and you want to keep your ball right between the bunker on the right hills on the left. It's a little into the wind, but don't overswing. Chances are you can't get there too anyway. <laughs> My caddy will rake that. Isn't it crazy how it like flights different? Wow. It like that, the way it holds in. That is how you club a man right there. How about your team? Five holes in? Let's have an assessment right here, Matt. I mean, I have a great uh, writing mate. Yeah. We're actually playing out of the same bag. We're playing out of the same bag, too. We did. <laughs> That's like having a half of a great song. You're halfway a, there. I've right? yeah. some good clubs I'm using. Yep, you've learned right. a lot. I've learned a lot. Learned how to hit different bunker shots. And, and we, might write, we might write the first cool country song since uh, Too Hot to Fish, Too Hot for Golf, Too Cold at Home. <laughs> All right, let's talk about hole number six, all right? <laughs> water on the right, hard par three right here. You playing all these pro-ams, water on the right, what's it usually do? I mean, all you do is pick your target. It doesn't matter what's around the green, you just pick your target and go for it, and this hole is no different. Did you hear that advice? That's to her partner's hot I got it. <laughs> Halfway through, he's already cut his handicap in half. <laughs> all right, let's go play this hole. Let's go.
Good swing. Oh yeah, good shot. Thanks. And hi. Thank you. You guys know where the snack bar is? <laughs> we got more 18 holes coming up. <laughs> more 18 holes coming up after the break. Right, Natalie? Yeah, right. Good job. <laughs> He'll get mad at me if he doesn't get his applause. This episode of 18 Holes is brought to you in part by Forever Lock. Check out the premier artificial putting surfaces on the market at golfgreens.com. Oh, way to go. Thanks a lot. Oh, perfect. You got to practice to make putts like that. Well, I don't have a putting green at my house to practice every day. You got to get a golf green by Forever Lawn, and you could. Make sure to visit golfgreens.com. To learn more about the premier artificial putting greens on the market today. For more information about Forever Lawn, that's golfgreens.com. This episode of 18 Holes is presented to you by Redeem. Finally, an appetite control that works. Go to redeem.fit. Check it out. All right, Darius, we're here at your event at Monday after the Masters. Talk to me about why you got this whole event started and, and what it means to you, really. Oh, it means the world to us. I mean, 23 years of putting on a golf tournament. It's been fun and, and, and raised a lot of money. and. You know, we just started it. It was it was a tournament that was going on, and they want us to get involved, and we thought we would. You know, I don't think we thought 23 years later we'd still be doing it. But uh, you know, it's been so much fun here in Myrtle, and yeah, I mean, we've got had some big names, had everybody from Arnie, and you know, Tiger, and Davis Love is here today, and you know, Natalie's here today. And so you know, it's, it's it's a pretty cool thing to come here and, and be able to get people like that to come and help us out. Why golf grab? I mean, why is golf the game you like to do this? I don't, I mean, ever since I was a kid, I just, I just love to play the game. For me now that I'm older and, and you know, my son's starting to play, it just, my love is just growing even more. It's just one of those games that I, I can't get enough. My son actually said to me the other day, Dad, I see why you want to play golf every day. I was like, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting him out there and watching him, watching him, you know, just hit it around and, and try to, try to play. I mean, he's, he's really doing a great job and it's pretty awesome. I'm still broken hearted that Natalie got married. I've been waiting for her. She just won't, you know. She, well, she she does love you. She told me she loves you. but She loves me, but I have a very, very hard crush on her, and I just got to get over it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Go make that putt. That'll help. Uh, no, I'm not putting. I don't putt on Mondays. <laughs> Well, number seven is a par four, and when uh, Pete Dye doesn't want you to hit the golf ball right, he puts lots of trouble over here. Bunkers all the way down the right side of this hole. What's that mean? Keep your tee ball left. Keep your approach shot even a little more to the left to be successful on the seventh hole here on the Dye Club. Hole number eight is a par five, and you can get home in two. The bunkers in front of the green are 50 yards from the green, so if I were you, I'd stay away from them. Hole number nine is a monster par four, 493 from all the way back. And you know what? The closer you get to the green, the tighter the hole gets. Oh, by the way, there's water on the right side too. Really difficult hole here in par is an awesome score here on nine. Here we are at hole number 10. What a fun day. Monday after the Masters, Jarius Rutgers event, and 
It's as good as it gets. This is a good golf course, Nat. I knew we were coming to a great event, but this is a great golf course. Peak die design. There's trouble. I've seen more balls go in the water today than I think I've seen in 10 years added up. You, there's definitely a ton of trouble, but it's in good shape, too. We always talk about how important it is to have a golf course that is in good shape, and this one is. The greens are good, the fairways are good, the bunkering, I love it. It's a great time to be in Myrtle Beach, that's for sure. So number 10, dog leg left, water all down this left side. How many of you guys in your group is gonna try to take it over the water and at the green? Every single one of them. <laughs> How about you hit one in a fairway so you don't have to worry about that's it? That's why I go first. All right, go first, <laughs> let's, let's do it. to the back bunker. <laughs> he flew the green. Get the hole. <laughs> yeah! So you wrote, or co-wrote, one of my favorite songs on the radio right now, Tin Man, with Miranda Lambert, who's awesome. Tell me about that. I have to hear, like, how'd that come about? It's been, it was amazing. Well, it's been, it's been really cool to watch her career, because she's always respected my songwriting, and me, hers. So we went to Marfa, and we, with this buddy of ours named John Randall. And we wrote about 10 songs together. And then we got back to town. She was in Nashville, I was in Texas, and I flew up again a month later. And that's when we wrote 10 Man. That is so cool. I mean, I saw it a couple weeks ago, and then I saw her performance on the ACM. It and amazing. it was just, it was an amazing performance. And how cool. It was great. That you wrote that song. It was fantastic. Funny, favorite song. <laughs> Thank that's you. More to come on 18 holes here in North Myrtle Beach. This episode of 18 Holes is presented to you by Redeem. Finally, an appetite control that works. Go to redeem.fit. Check it out. Well, hello, golfers. You know, Digital Golf Pass gives you discounted green fees at hundreds of great courses near you. Redeemable on your smartphone, tablet, computer machine, you know, wherever. Save up to 50 smackers around, every round, all season long. Because when you pay less, you golf more. Oh. Hey, what is that? This is the Orange Rip Trainer. This is how I get ready to play golf. Would you like to try? I'd love to. It's simple to use, but most importantly, you gotta feel it. It's a very simple tool that allows you to develop your own athletic golf swing and stretch out your golf muscles. It synchronizes my motion to make it athletic, and it also allows me to get perfect tempo and balance so I'll be consistent all day. The Orange Whip Trainer, you gotta feel it. This episode of 18 Holes is brought to you in part by Spirit Airlines. Less money, more go. I'm sneaky, I'm, I'm low 90s drunk or sober. That's kind of the way I roll, and I, the, the key thing for me is I don't take it seriously, quite yeah. honestly. I'll hit a bad shot, I'll hit a good shot. I don't think too much. Thinking has always gotten me in trouble. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, here with Paige Sporanic, one of golf's new sensations, and uh, first Monday after the match? First one, first time in South Carolina. Oh, first time in, oh, first time in the South, period. Yeah. People are a little crazy here, especially now we're to the back nine, huh? They are so nice, though. Everyone has been so welcoming, especially at the golf course, everyone who works here and running the tournament. It's been a really great time. You can tell that people are passionate about why they're here. I always love coming out, especially for charity events, and, you know, it's always going to a good cause, and it's nice to actually have fun, give back, and that's what it's about. All right, so we do this show 18 Holes with Natalie and I, and uh, you're always welcome as a guest. You're a perfect guest for 18 Holes. Well, thank you very much. I might take you up on that offer. Right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Paige Sporanic. Hole number 11 is a par four dog leg a little bit to the right. It gets really tight up there in that landing area, but if you can drive it into this fairway, you're just gonna have a short iron into this green. Pay attention to where the pin's at. If it's back, you better take it in there nice and low. 
Hole number 12 is a par five, and it looks a little bit intimidating, but all you have to do, focus on your target, hit straight on your first shot, straight on your second shot. It's reachable in two, so go ahead and make a birdie. Hole number 13 is a par four, and with all of this ugly stuff right here running down the left side, I personally think you should just tee it up and hit it down the right side of this fairway. It's one of the hardest holes on the die course at Bear Club. Number 14 is a long par four, so go ahead and get a little extra off that drive because you're going to need it going into the screen. Holy bunkers on hole number 15. Looks like Pete Dye just threw up a hand grenade and it blew up all around this screen. Obviously, if you miss this screen, it's going to be a very, very difficult up and down. Pick the right club, knock it on the green. What's your favorite golf course? Any course that lets me just go play three or four holes and not worry about it. I mean, I like that too. You know? I like any golf course that you can go out early and zip around and play in like three hours. I'm the same way except late. You like to play at the end of the day? That's my favorite time of day. Oh, I like the mornings on a golf course, but I mean, at the end of the day is a good time. Hole number 17 is a par three, 175 yards, and the key to this hole is to have enough club. You just saw Natalie hit that shot. She took enough. The rest of her group did not. Next time, maybe you just take one club more than me. You gotta get on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here on 18, and I'm not gonna lie to you, Natalie. Today's been kind of a nice day for me. Just hanging out with the celebs. You had to do all the work and play. It, but this golf course is awesome. I mean, Pete Dye knew what he was doing when he had this golf course. You really have to pay attention, though. I mean, just look at this last hole. Yeah. He doesn't give you any breaks out here, but what an incredible event. Monday after the Masters, so much energy, so much fun. All the celebrities, players, everyone's having a great time. Dog leg left a little bit here. You got this hole handled. You piped it down the middle for your team, but how about amateurs looking at that water on the left? Don't look at it. Pick your target at the right side. Hit it down the right side, all right? Go finish it. Okay. No more music the rest of the day. We're not playing music anymore. Oh, come on. The music's the best. Was that 10 feet? No, just a little longer. Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That takes the pressure off what I was doing. Uh, amateurs usually like to choose their golf ball because it gives them, I think they keep score amongst each other on who gets their shot used the most. I think there's some outside inside betting on that, especially on the drives. Oh, 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 oh. She, saved, she saved that in the end. Right? Wow, thank you. Do you see this service? This is from. That's blue vanilla. This is because for your we. Uh, eyes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. You are smooth. You're her club. Yeah. Her, the club, so. Look at when you want to be like her in all facets. Like all right. <laughs> and then maybe get one of these. Yeah, I do want to get one. Where are your clubs? More to come on 18 holes. We're heading to the 19th hole. This episode of 18 Holes is brought to you in part by Forever Lawn. Check out the premier artificial putting surfaces on the market at golfgreens.com. When it comes to crafting the perfect picture, having the right camera is only the first step. And that's why at Dodd Camera, we're more than a camera store. For 125 years, we've served the community with beautiful custom-sized printing, VHS and film transfer, passport photos, camera repairs, buying and selling used equipment, custom framing, and more. So don't just take great photos, bring them to life at Dodd Camera. The 19th hole is presented to you by Miller Lite.
Welcome to the 19th hole presented to you by Miller Lights. And uh, Natalie, before we get into this amazing day that we just had here at Darius Rucker's event, uh, let's just talk Myrtle Beach in general. You have a little history here at Myrtle Beach. I do. Um, I used to vacation here with my family. You know, as a golfing family, there is so much golf in Myrtle Beach. And I think that's what really makes this area, especially for me, is you can play golf in the morning, go to the beach, play another golf course in the afternoon, and just golf course, golf course. And not just any type of golf course, but really good golf courses. Yeah, I played a little bit over at Tidewater before you got here. And talk about beautiful views, the marshes, the oceans. I mean, just, just awesome. And I think that's why it's kind of known as the golf capital of the world here in North Myrtle Beach and the Myrtle Beach area. It's just uh, golf everywhere. But there's more there than just more. golf. For there's sure. a great sport complex. So Greg Norman's son, owns a water park with inside this North Myrtle Beach sports complex and the guys were over there a little bit and there's just so much to do and I think that's why you see not just golfers here a lot of families here like you said too how they vacation especially if you live on the east coast this is really a place to get out in New York or if you're in the Midwest in the winter time you come over to Myrtle Beach absolutely for sure so you talked a little bit about when you lived here uh, you said you were at Coconuts Tiki Bar there you spent you, you said cool you visited place. that spot there's there. so many cool like little landmark places whether it's midtown bistro or yep. just really cool places that are all around myrtle beach and i think anytime you come here there's always more to see and that gets people coming back you get you hear of a new golf course a new place to go and that's something that makes it really special all right well we came here for something though we came here for this event uh it's called monday after the masters uh natalie played golf without me today and uh, i was kind of glad because i got to see a lot maybe a little more than you did today what a cool event monday after the masters darius rucker and friends really yep. this is a phenomenal event. We had 20, 30,000 people watching the event. And how about the names of the people here? Nancy Lopez, who Love. is just, she was my idol. Yeah. So she's incredible. One of my absolute favorite people, John Daly. Yeah was here. Um, some of your favorite athletes were here. Oh, I mean, I love Marcus Allen. I was a Raider fan. I know we've had our problems with that in the past, <laughs> but uh, Starling Sharp was just awesome. He was so he fun. He played 45 what a, holes yesterday. What a Natalie. big personality yeah. he is. Yeah. It's really an event that brings the whole area together, and it's Monday after the Masters. I mean, it's so perfect. And then tonight, to have a big concert where everybody gets together, the singers, songwriters that were here, and we got great weather on a great golf course. Let's talk about this golf course. Oh, it's a really good golf course. You know, Pete Dye Design. Now, there's four golf courses here at Barefoot, uh, but this is a Pete Dye Design here. And the golf courses, we're lucky because we always play golf courses that are in perfect condition, but this was really, really good. A lot of water to contest with and a lot of bunkers. You had to pick your lines, and you always say that. Pick your line, trust it, and rip it. You have to do it on this golf course. I think that that... That just added to just the fun and excitement of having a month. See, there you go. Yeah. Fans, fans, they're still still hanging out for Monday after the Masters. And Darius was just such a gracious guest to have us here. And you can tell that people, I mean, Woody Austin told me it's his favorite event all year. He just looks something he looks forward to coming to. They had a big charity gala last night where they raised hundreds of thousands of dollars. and just all around a great event. It is good. And you know, with this place here, I mean, I, you know, we get to go to all the great places across the country. I'm bringing all my members down here in the fall to play here. I and mean, that's how much I think of this place. And uh, Myrtle Beach Golf Holidays, we want to thank them for having us here uh, this uh, during this event and during this time in Myrtle Beach. They were great. But there's so many people to thank. We could sit here for 10 minutes and thank them all. But I guess number one is, is Darius Rucker. And for having, uh, having him uh, have us here at the event, allow us to shoot the show and just see all the fun that everybody has. Yeah, and a great inspiration for not only as a player, but just to continue to grow the game of golf. Loves he loves golf, golf loves golf, oh. and we've seen it, whether it's in his music videos yeah. or just his continued contributions to the game. And so he's passing it on to his son. His son was here today, and he so talked cool. about how much he really liked uh, playing golf with his son. So, All right, we have to leave. We're going to go to our next resort. We're going a little more in style this time. We are. We're going to jump. Our friend Tim Weipert's going to put us on his wheels up plane. And we're wheels gonna... up, putts down. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be us tomorrow. We like that. So. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we want to thank you so much for following us here through Myrtle Beach and uh, watching us here at Monday after the Masters, and also want to thank you for watching us today on 18 Holes.
way to go. Thanks a lot. Oh, perfect. You gotta practice to make putts like that. Well, I don't have a putting green at my house to practice every day. You gotta get a golf green by Forever Lawn and you could. Make sure to visit golfgreens.com. To learn more about the premier artificial putting greens on the market today. For more information about Forever Lawn, that's golfgreens.com. Hey, what is that? This is the Orange Whip Trainer. This is how I get ready to play golf. Would you like to try? I'd love to. It's simple to use, but most importantly, you got to feel it. It's a very simple tool that allows you to develop your own athletic golf swing and stretch out your golf muscles. It synchronizes my motion to make it athletic, and it also allows me to get perfect tempo and balance so I'll be consistent all day. The Orange Whip Trainer. you got to feel it.